ExpressJS middlewares are functions that have access to the request object, the response object, and the next function in the application's request response cycle. The next function, when invoked, executes the middleware succeeding the current middleware. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom middlewares to handle user authentication with ExpressJS framework. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, and let's jump into it. In previous video, we started working with the Express framework. We created a new application. We also started working with Express routes. We created this route with a single endpoint. So we are going to create a middleware to handle user authentication within this route. Actually, we're going to create two middlewares. The first middleware is going to assign the user information to the request object. And we're going to have another middleware that is going to validate the user that is performing a request. Okay, first I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it middlewares. I'm going to add a new file where we're going to put our first middleware and I'm going to call this middleware assign user. This will be a function const assign user. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, a middleware receives the request object, the response object, and the next function. And here we are going to receive an authorization header. We're going to extract a token from that header and we're going to get the user data associated to that token. So this is const token equals request.header and the name of the header will be authorization. I'm going to create a user map where the key of the map will be the token and the value will be the user data. Const user map. This is new map. And we're going to add a couple of entries here. For this example, I'm just using a map, but here you can use a database or a third party service. This is set. And we're going to pass a token, one, two, three, let's say. This will be the key for this entry and the value of this entry will be an object. And we're going to say username, test one, first name, John, last name, Doe. I'm going to add another entry to the map. This will be four, five, six. Username test2, and this will be Charles Doe. Now I'm going to get the user data from the map using that token. So this is const user equals to user map dot get, and here I pass the token. That is the key of the map. And here I'm going to attach the user data to the request object. So this will be request dot user and this is user. And now I'm going to call the next function to call the next middleware in the stack. So this is next, like this. And I need to export this middleware from this module. So this module dot exports equals to assign user. And now I'm going to assign the middleware to the router. So first I need to import that middleware here. So this is const assign user equals to require and this is middlewares and this is assign user and here I'm going to use that middleware so this is router dot use and this is assign user so every time that we receive a request in any of our endpoints is going to execute that middleware now I'm going to create a second middleware that is going to check if the user that is performing the request is authenticated. So I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it isAuthenticated.js. So this will be a function, const isAuthenticated. 
again as any other middleware is going to receive the request the response and the next function and this will be pretty simple if we have a user attached to the request then we are going to allow to proceed with the next middleware in the stack so here we are going to basically authorize the request to our endpoint so this is request dot user and here this will be next to call the next middleware in the stack and in your case we are going to return a 401 and inform that the user is not authorized to perform the request so this is response dot status and this is 401 and we just send a simple message unauthorized okay now i'm going to export this middleware from the module so this is module dot exports equals to is authenticated and now i'm going to import this middleware from my route so this is const is authenticated equals to require middlewares slash is authenticated and here we're going to pass this middleware to our route so here we have the uri our middleware that is going to authenticate the request and then we send back the response to the user and i'm going to start the server here i'm using nodemon so if i run npm run dev we have a script here that is going to run the application using nodemon so npm run dev okay now let's open postman and first i'm going to execute a request without passing any any headers and i'm going to get a 401 unauthorized as expected so i'm going to add a new header that will be an authorization header and here i'm going to pass one of the tokens that we have in our map so first i'm going to pass one two three and as you can see here we get the data from the express router i'm going to include the user data in my response so let's go to our route and here i'm going to just concatenate the username so this is request dot user dot username is basically this attribute that we are assigning here so let's run this again and as you can see here we have the message and the username and the same happens if i pass 456 456 that's the other token that we defined here and if i execute this request we get the message and the username of the second user that in this case is test2 that's all i have for today thank you guys for watching and i see you in the next one take care bye